so hey guys welcome back once again and in today's video i'm just trying to impaint this is my first ever full video on impainting and i was just trying to learn impainting as you can see over here i was just trying to convert something like this into this images and yes as you can see over here this was the images that i impaint yesterday and yeah some of the great result i was just trying to learn and i got some of the great result just like this so in this video we will try to impaint this thing as you can see i was already trying to impaint over here so first of all let me tell you guys i am using illuminati diffusion model directly model over here this is not an inpainting model just a normal model 2.1 based model and let me tell you the settings that i am using most of the setting that we will use today is on mask mode inpaint mask and in the end we will use inpaint not mask i will show you why we will use this and the second thing that we will use is only original over here most of the time we will use original over here and in inpaint area we will only go with only mask so that's the only thing that we are going and yes we will try to mess around with denoising strength as well so let's get started guys with this image and let's start masking first of all So guys as you can see here I am ready with the mask I have not masked this part of the image this circle white circle part of the image I have only masked the lighter part of the image and yes so first of all let's go with this first mask and we will go with bright clouds thunderstorm and that's the only thing that we are using ultra realistic extreme detail and and the settings that I am using is impaint mask over here original again I said earlier on as well and only mask area because we have masked already right see we will go with 0.7 denoising strength and let's see what result do we get so now guys as you can see these are the result that i got i got yeah you can definitely see i think so because of thunderstorm we got pink clouds over here what we will do is that we will not go with thunderstorm let's go with white clouds right now bright clouds and white clouds that's the only thing that we are going and let's see what result do we get now with this so guys as you can see after changing on to the white clouds these are the result that i got i still got uh, colorful images over here but yeah we will go with that image images so these are the three result that i got and i loved this result the third one over here so that is the result that we are going with and what we will do right now is that we will drag this image over here don't forget to drag this and the most and the important thing that i found in impending is that you need to reset because if you don't reset over here it will overlap the uh it will overlap the earlier result as well so that's why first of all go and reset the mask over here that's the main thing and important thing while impending and now what we will do we will try to focus on the darker part of the image let's try to mask and let's see what result do we get so guys as you can see now i am ready with my mask and yes this time we will go with the darker part of the image so guys as you can know that this was the darker part of the image so what i will do is that this time i will go with dark clouds thunderstorm as well and as well as lightning and now let's see what result do we get this time again i am going with 0.7 denoising strength and same settings over here only mask original and in paint mask okay so that's the thing that we are going and now let's see what result do we get guys so guys as you can see these are the result that i got let me show you all of the result see this is the second result that i got pretty amazing result as well so first of all we will go with any of the result just like this the third result was also pretty amazing because yeah definitely we got something a great image over here we can correct it as well but first let's go on to this image so let's drag it over here as you can see i have already dragged it and remember to reset the mask first of all reset all of the mask over here and now what we will do we will try to add moon over here let's go with two of this part on the image and we will try to add moon over here let's mask first of all what we will do we will mask it now we are ready with our prompt and yes definitely uh, we are ready with the mask as well we have only masked that part of the image and let's see what result do we get now with the moon so guys as you can see these are the result that i got with the moon uh, not that great result only this was amazing result but on the bottom i didn't got an amazing result over on all of the three images you can definitely see that so what i will do i will go with single single let's reset all of the mask first of all and let's go with single image so we are going with the single image right now we are only going with the top image let's generate and let's see what result do we get 
get now and first of all let's increase this as well let's go with 0.75 denoising strength and let's see what result do we get this time i got pretty amazing result yes this was the perfect one you can definitely see that so now what i will do is that i will drag it over here as well and now what we will go we will try to mask this as well and let's see if we can get result over here as well so let's go with this uh, mask right now and yes once again we will go with bright moon only so let's see what result do we get now so guys as you can see this time with the bottom of the image these are the result that i got and let me show you all of the images this see these are the result that i got the third one was not that but the first two are really great uh, still not that great but yes we will go with this images so what i will do i will just select this image and drag it over here so now guys that we are ready with this image and what we will do we will try to finish this image as well we will try to add some more details over here so what i will do we will try to add random mask over here just like this okay so now guys that we are ready with our mask as you can see so once again we will go with the bright clouds and white clouds and we will try to fix this image and yes everything as it is so let's see what result do we get now so guys as you can see after correcting these are the result that i got not that great result i don't know why this result is not doing great you can definitely see i think so third one is still best so what i will do i will go with third one and we will try to correct this as well let's okay let's reset the mask and we will mask this first of all and we will try to mess around with this okay so that we have masked it over here let's see what result we can get we will go with like like let's go with 0.75 denoising strength and let's generate and let's see what result do we get okay guys so as you can see we are once again with this result after masking this you can definitely see these are the three results that i got you can see this result over here still not that great result but yes uh, we somewhat like corrected this as well and what we will do we'll try to go let's try to convert it into like rainbow we can convert it into rainbow right so let's try to convert it into rainbow let's uh, reset the mask first of all let's drag it over here and we will try to mask this what we will do let's go over here and let's try to convert it into a rainbow let's see what result do we get uh, let's reset it so we will go with like bright colored rainbow and highly detailed rainbow let's see what result do we get with the rainbow i think so we can get a great result and yes the same settings over here so let's see what result do we get now so guys as you can see after going on to the rainbow these are the three results that i got this is the first result that i got and yes definitely this is the second result this is the third result i think the second result is really great so we will go with this so now let's try to add more details to the darker part of the image as well so now let's uh, randomly mask over here and we will go with we will try to improve the darker part of the image as well so now guys that i have masked the darker part of the image you can definitely see we will go with like dark clouds thunderstorm and lightning once again and we will only go with low denoising strength with like 0.55 and let's see what result do we get now so yes guys after messing on with the darker part of the images these are the image that i got still great image over here there are a lot of details going on so basically the first and the second image is the one that i like the most let's go with the second image and what i will do is that i will We'll try to convert this rainbow because i'm just not loving this rainbow so what we will do is that let's zoom in over here first of all we will reset the mask okay first we will reset the mask and what i will do i will try to convert it into white cloud first of all let's resize this and let's mask this rainbow because i'm just not loving this rainbow so what i will do let's reset over here and what i will do i will go with fill and we will go with like more denoising strength just like 0.7 or 0.75 and let's go with the fill now and let's see what result do we get we will will go with white clouds so now let's generate and let's see what result do we get so now guys as you can see definitely over here we got a corrected image over here we got three result as you can definitely see these are the three result that i got i definitely loved the first result over here so this is the result that uh, we are going with and yes definitely the reason why i use fill is because i just wanted to fill that rainbow over here and we will try to correct this image as well so what i will do i will try to drag it over here and we will first of all reset all of the mask over here and what i will do now that we have now dragged the image over here and we will try to mask all of this image first of all and we will try to correct this image so it's very easy just like correct mask correct mask it's a repetitive steps until you get uh, details over here okay so let's mask it over here and let's try to mask most of the part so we can get an amazing result so now guys as you can see we have masked this part of the image and we will go with like for 
again we will go with original because we want to correct the image so we will go with original and this time we will go with like 0.6 denoising strength or 0.5 let's go with 0.6 denoising strength and yes let's generate and let's see what result do we get with white clouds and bright clouds so let's generate and let's see what result do we get so guys as you can see after correcting this image these are the result that i got you can definitely see these are the three result that i got this is the second result and this is the third result i think so the third result messed up with this but yes the first two results are pretty great the first result is also great the second result is also great but there is something missing over here on this part of the image you can definitely see that so yeah you can go and mess around with this as well so right now i think so almost most of the image is still great but you can correct the black part of the image as well if you want you can correct the black part of the image so now what we will do is that we will try to mask all of the image and we will try to generate something on the outer part of the image so now guys Guys, as you can see i have masked whole of the image what i will try to do is that i want to generate something on the outer part of the image so what i will do is that now i will go with this option mask mode impent not mask so what it will do it will try to impact only the non mask part of the image and we will go with impact area or only mask and yes we will go with something 0.6 zero inching strength first we will go with 0.65 5 denoising strength let's go with the clouds over here thunder clouds over here and lightning as well and now let's generate and let's see what result do we get guys so you can definitely see guys over here these are the result that i got so not that great image so what i will do is that now let's go and increase the denoising strength to 0.75 and now let's generate and let's see what result do we get so now guys as you can see after going on with like 0.7 denoising strength these are the result that i got and you can definitely see this is the second result and yeah definitely that's the result that i got I think so like third one is still great image and we will go with this image. So yes guys, uh, you can definitely see that is the result that I got. Pretty amazing. I think so you can get uh, some more great image if you are good with the prompt and masking as well. You can go and generating some amazing like details as well. So guys, as you know, my mask was all over this image and yes, after some of this setting just like this. You can definitely see I went on with again with original and yes I reduced the denoising strength to 0.25. You can mess around with 0.25 or something like that with lower value in order to give the final touch up of the image. As you can see this was the result that I got after I went on with like 0.25 value and yeah pretty a great result as well so that's the final result that i got and yes you can go and improve this image as well it's not the final result but yeah i think so i'm satisfied with this result you can go and mess around with masking again and again and, and get the amazing result if you want so that's how you can go and mask as well so that's i i'm trying to learn the masking and in painting so yes definitely i will make more detailed video as well so this was my first tutorial and i think so that was not that good but yes i tried my level best i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow guys i will learn impending in deep and yes i will make a deep videos as well so that's the result that i got final result and yeah i'm satisfied with it so yes guys that's the thing that i wanted to talk about and yeah i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow guys till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys bye guys